Hi guys, today we're going to play um, Threat Gen Red vs Blue and uh, this basically is it's a cyber security simulation game where you have um, red teamer or blue teamer, you can play both roles and a big shout out to the uh, Jerry Older Simply Cyber for brought in up this game and I had a lot of fun with it so, um, so let's get in started uh, have this um, so basically how this game works is that you can have you can have the single player and then you can have a multiplayer so you can play with your friends but since I'm playing with myself so uh, I'm gonna to choose the single player and you can choose play as a blue team and play as a red team so uh, in this video I'm going to play as a blue team and I'm a big fan for the blue team so so let's go into play the blue team so Basically, the situation is that you are work as a CISO for a uh, for a uh, oil and uh, gas company, and uh, you you basically you were assigned for protecting the ICS system, and uh, we got a really uh we got a really crappy network uh we we don't have any security control in place so so it's your job for going to secure it so let's get it started so. So uh, we have this little help, um, uh, some, some helpful information over here, but we can skip that. So basically how this game works is, is that you can take turn uh, for each round uh, and you, you really just, uh, uh, th th this basically is a game, but it's really testing your risk management skill in, in, in the cybersecurity uh, setting. So. Uh, we can start our turn for now. So basically, we got this um, this industry nice uh, industry. We need to protecting. This is our company, and we got this network diagram. And as we as you see that we have we we don't have any security control in place, and uh, we got uh fifty fifty thousand dollars in as start, and then we got three uh, three staff. So uh, let's see what kind of action we can took um, we can take for now so what I really uh, what I would like to do is that I'm going to secure the layer one first uh, so ba layer three uh, first so basically we got this gateway firewalls uh, we don't have any gateway firewalls so um, let's secure our parameter first and uh, um, and I'm also gonna to assign two people going to making the policy and the procedures, so we don't have any more resources anymore. So we can end our turn. So basically, what happened is now the red teaming, uh, red teamer trying uh, gonna come to damage your network. So start my turn, my firewall is installed, okay. So we got one person. Um, yeah, so I got one person. Um, Let's see what this endpoint security is. So this is basically a uh, IDS. Um, basically a host based IDS. Um, it's kind of like a like an antivirus on your endpoint, but um, but I don't think that is something we need to investigate for now because. We got really crappy network right now, so I'm gonna to install the uh, video surveillance to in to secure our physical layer. Um, so start my turn. Um, so I I don't have any um, manpower available. How this game works is basically you have this um, you got this. Uh, manpower and you got this uh, how many turns this ta specific task will be finished and you got this uh, how, how much money it will cost so 
Uh, I have to wait for three turns uh, to install my video surveillance. So I don't have any manpower available right now. So let's just keep going. We have to end our turn. So uh, policy procedures um, finished. So let's see what we can do for that. Um, let's. Let's also doing an asset inventory um, because we want to perform the vulnerability assessment. So we have to do the asset inventory and also implement strong Wi-Fi uh, router. Okay, so our video surveillance installed. So now, um, what I would like to do is that we can actually um, I think it is important for us to um, at this point, I think important to um, we don't have any network segmentation going on so uh, I really would like to add that to our network so it's really bad uh, right now so that attacker will make their life a lot harder uh, if we have the different zone was being uh, in place so so we got the asset inventory finished and uh, uh, we got one person uh, available for now so let's see what we can do um, I'm going to continue to secure our uh, physical layer by adding uh, electronic locks. So So my network is segmented. Um, so this will make attackers life a little bit harder, but it won't stop them. Um, so let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to perform a vulnerability assessment at this point because um, because it's quite important for us to know what kind of um, vulnerability we have. Um, so let's do that. We have to keep going. And uh, we almost ran out the budget. We only have like $8,000. So I'm going to request the budget. So uh, the, the budget requesting is can be tricky. Um, we see that that find a way to show management your network is at risk. So uh, one, one thing really good about the threat chain blue versus red is that it's a, it's a game, but it's actually really teach you something by uh, show you show you all these um, terminologies used in the cybersecurity and the concept. So, so here we have the request budget. You really want to uh, sometimes like uh, will be easier for you to request the budget if there's an incident happened in your network. So, so we always had this mindset that if there's nothing wrong going on, uh, the budget will not be approved. So. But I'm going to request the budget anyway because we ran out the money. So vulnerability assessment completed, and we also get like an asset out of uh, services. So our PLC out of services. Um, I'm per. I'm I'm pretty sure like I screwed something up because
because um Because basically, I didn't perform the ICS safe testing method. I just uh, go for go with the vulnerability assessment directly. So those method actually take down my my um my ICS devices. So um, we got into this situation. We damaged our own network as a blue team, and uh, it it's really bad. Um, and I'm sure that. If this case happened in the real world, I would be fired, but let's keep going. So, so what we can do is that um, the, the CEO is going to really hate me right now. I have to activate the IR in order to replace them. But let's see what, what we can do uh, to, um, to change some default credentials on our uh switches you know uh switches let let's see uh what um let's see what we can do on our endpoints user workstation so user workstation usually is a place where uh they do not have a lot uh, a lot of uh security control on there and uh, it's most vulnerable place um because they're they are facing the outside world so uh, let's try to apply some patches on there. So we have this uh, system patches. Um, basically, system patches is fix the software vulnerabilities. So, and the, you have system hardening, which basically you can fix any incorrect security configuration. So uh, let's apply the system patchings on our user workstation. So. And uh, we got uh, system patchings on our user workstation. So hopefully we are not in trouble. IR mode activated. So uh, really bad, really bad. I messed up. So um, so I have to replace this asset because I messed my old stuff up. So I only got like a thousand dollars left for now. So let's uh, hopefully my budget will be approved by the management. Okay, thank you. Budget was being approved, and I can go into replace this. Uh, basically, you got this all these uh, options during the IR phase. Uh, you got like clean asset, reboot asset, um, all these options. But but when you add the IR face, all the other parts like a vulnerability management um, part was being uh, grayed out because you because I think this game was designed like uh, at IR face, it's not you cannot really do other things. So uh, let's replace our in industry radio system. OK, uh, and I have to deactivate the IR. Um, Okay, so now um, what really important for doing is patch our network. Uh, that those are really important. So I'm going to fix this user workstation zone first, and uh, also focus on our ICS system because those two parts are really important. Um, user workstation, they're they're external facing, so they impose more. Uh, vulnerability outside and the and the attacker can easily get onto them so let's continue to uh, apply the system patchings on our workstation right so we can fix all these uh, workstation issues we got this um, weak password um, so let's just patch all this Apply the system patching. Okay. So now we have um, our corporate router is even have a, like a default creds and a weak password on there. Um, I'm not sure how long I can survive because because like. Once passed like a twenty something, like a 
like the red teamer will be become really really good for what they're doing so um let's see what we can do uh, over here uh, I want to secure our uh, like getting 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 up this strong password policy uh, very important because the password is a low hanging fruit and the default cred so for the attacker uh, to taking over our network it don't it, it do not have to uh, put into a lot of effort so um, So let's also fix this DMZ firewalls. Uh, we got like a default creds on there. So okay, so we got our default creds was being fixed, and uh, um. Let's do a security awareness training because um, at this point, I think the attacker, what they're going to do is they're going to trying to do a phishing email, trying to get into our network. So because we have already have some sort of security control in place, so uh, their life has already been uh, being uh, become harder so they were trying to compromise the layer 8 the user layer so let's let's implement that uh, let's see what we can do with the default creds uh, default creds let's change the corporate router it's just unacceptable for like a corporate router has a uh, default creds on there so Okay, so default creds was being fixed. Uh, let's continue to fix the default creds issue. Um, I mean like switches, you have default creds. That's just crazy. So we got like security awareness training. Let's, let's continue to enhance our uh, staff uh, security uh, skills it's really important to invest invest in your staff right so let's um, let's let's educate them continue to educating our users so I'm gonna to train our user it's gonna be take um, let's see it's gonna be take six uh, six thousand dollars and uh, three people and uh, three rounds uh, I'm not sure if I want to do that right now because we are kind of in a situation where we have a lot of other priority stuff we need to focus on. So let's see. Um, we got this, all this um, outdated um, you engineer workstation. Um, those are really considered as like a critical, like critical issue. Um, SCADA firewall uh, basically has like an incorrect access control. So we really want to make sure our ICS system will keep up running. We don't want them going down because it really involves in the oil pump uh, distiller and the pipeline. So those those parts cannot be damaged. So Let's keep ensure that our SCADA firewall was being um, properly secured and our remote user. Um, we got like a couple of remote users over here. Uh, they do not have any. They are also in in the risk. So um, let's see how we what, what let's see what we can do. Um, I mean, we have a lot of like default credential was being enabled, so that's just so bad. That's like, uh, I think that's the highest risk in an organization. So like a, on the router, on the switch, you have like a default creds. So that has to be changed, I think.
do you like? Oh, you turn. It, it takes two rounds. Okay, so let's see. Um, engineer workstation. Okay, so I'm gonna to update. Um, because his antivirus is outdated, so I'm going to like update his antivirus, also patch his system. Because I think the engineer workstation uh, has some really sensitive information, has some sensitive information was being stored on there. So I would really like to secure his uh, workstation. So I cannot, apparently I cannot fix it. I'm not sure why. It does not allow me to fix it, so um, outdate antivirus. You got outdated software. Um, I don't think he really can do anything though. Yeah, you don't have. You don't even have like. A, Antivirus on your AD server. I'm gonna to like add an antivirus on here because AD server is kind of important. Um, so So antivirus rolled out um, And uh, the the configuration was being fixed on the SCADA firewall, so uh, We got some issue over here um, It's just really bad, like user antivirus is being, um, I have to update the antivirus on the user workstation. I really would like to secure the user workstation right now because, because potentially the attacker has already in our network. So uh, it, they can move easily around our network so i'm gonna to make sure that like everything is secure um system patching okay so i'm gonna to patch the engineer uh, workstation and i'm also gonna to patch the scada server Okay, they they were being patched, and uh, yes, they were being patched. Um, I think it's important for us to implement the. Uh, software development life cycle uh, because we see that there's a lot of op application in our organization was being has a lot of issue in there uh, because all these um, vulnerabilities were introduced so i think we have to stop this from the beginning so we do not have to patch them so this will take two person um, to do it and it takes three rounds, but I think it will be worth it in the long run. So let's doing that and let's keep patch, keep patch our system. Uh, it's just getting a point, it's getting really bad. Um, let's see, we have, um, Let's patch this, I mean, let's, let's apply a patch on our AD server. Patched, okay, so, um, yeah, right now we are just trying to focus on these small issues in our network um i'm not sure if our remote remote user what they are doing over there so um cms server 
miss the antivirus. Gosh, so it's really bad getting a point. We need to install the uh, antivirus server. Uh, antivirus is installed, and uh, we have this. Um, just continue applying the patch, man. Like, really, we need to patch our system. Um, what kind of vulnerability this has? Uh, outdated antivirus and the command injection. Oh, that is getting a little bit bad. Uh, let's. Yeah, in this game, you really need to like prioritize those uh, vulnerabilities. So you have like, a, you really got to be learning how to do the risk management and mitigate them in an order. So you're going to do like system patching on here because we got like a command injection. So just wanted to mitigate the risk. So we got this software development SDLC implemented and uh, uh, so hopefully our developers will roll out application securely on our server. So hopefully they, they will do that. And, uh, and now I think um, We got these uh, vulnerabilities on our um, system. So let me change the default credentials for our ICS system because those systems are, are, are our critical assets um, for our company because they involved in, in our oil, um, like a gas pump and the pipeline. So we, we really want to make sure they are they, they were not being damaged. So Okay, so um, default creds is being fixed and uh, I kind of feel like we need to fix our remote user because because they do not have any uh, security control in place over them. So yeah, let's patch their workstation. Um, let's also patch our yeah let's let's fix this those external uh, servers so okay so so the they have some sort of security misconfiguration on there so it will take an attacker a while to discover them, so we are not in hurry to fix those. Um, we got this outdated antivirus, so let's update that. Uh, update our antivirus. So make sure that all our workstation has some sort of antivirus being in place. So, um, and we can also hardening our system um, so that they do not impose any risk, right? So uh, workstations. Okay. I want to see what else we have. We can um, start in trying to implement the 2F, 2FA authentication, right? Um, that part is important. Um, 
Also, we want to have like a ICS safe testing message uh, to, to implement. We don't have enough people, uh, but that is something important to do be before our next vulnerability assessment. So we do not take down our old system uh, like I did before. So uh, system hardening uh, or doing a system patching um, Yeah, let's patch our, let's see what kind of vulnerability it has. So it has stack overflow. Uh, basically it's a, it's a buffer overflow um, vulnerability on there. User, remote user missing the antivirus. This game is really dynamic. Like you have this remote user comes in to work for your company and their, their workstation will, will change very often. So you have to like make sure they are secure. So you got one more person. Um, just gonna patch the patch, uh, patch a system, uh, random system, I guess. Patch that. So we got like a social security. Um, we have the maximum defense against social engineer attacks. Of course, nothing is 100% guaranteed. So we got like two FA authentication was being implemented. Um, yep. So we got like a social engineer in place and uh, social engineer pro, uh, like a defense in place. So. So we gotta be make sure that our we have the ICS safe testing method because uh, every time like last time I messed up so so my vulnerability assessment took down our industry radio system and our PLC. Um, so for now I think uh, we can what we can do is that we can. Um, we can add in a same. Um, I'm not sure if I want to add the same. Um, um, yeah, let's adding a VPN for our uh, remote user. See, like the the VPN can like uh, encrypt the remote access, isolate remote users to DMZ if network is segmented. So it will be increase our uh, overall network security by isolate the remote user to the DMZ. So so let's let's help them let's help them out. Okay. So we got one more person free. Um, let's continue to apply the system patching um, to our fix this, fix those server. Uh, the server is kind of important. So let's fix the server. So we got this. Um, ICS cybersecurity uh, proper methodologies. We got this in place. So, um, so I think we are safe to doing the vulnerability assessment uh, now. And then we got this uh, VPN being um, deployed. So we got this. Um, we we secured our uh, remote user uh, VPN installed. Okay, so. Um, so what I would like to do right now, I think it will be better for us to increase the, uh, to increase our, uh, overall visibility on our network. So at this point, so I'm going to install our same, uh, to our network and, uh, and I'm going to keep, um, 
hardening our system uh, because there's still some part in our network has vulnerabilities on there so uh, this one is definitely needs to be fixed so we're gonna patch that and uh, yeah those those switches they're just like really bad getting like XSS um, do not have to fix it because that can be categorized as a low low priority so um, the, the the switch has an incorrect access control on it so I'm gonna to fix that for now So we got the network monitoring in place and uh, um, yeah. So we got this same in place. You see like we have this same in place. So now we can really imp um, like, like uh, enable our visibility. So we have, we can install the, we, we can we can start into monitoring our network right so we got this uh, network sensor so basically they're like a IDS right so the network based IDS system so uh, we're gonna we're gonna deploy this stuff to our um, gonna to deploy one over there and uh, gonna deploy one in our SCADA SCADA, uh, SCADA zone so um, we ran out the people. So we got the network sensor. Okay, so our firewall was being taken down by the attacker. So it getting a bit bad. Um, our firewall was being taken down. Okay, so how to activate the IR? Um, and uh, fix the issue now. So, um, so let's end our turn. So IR face is being enabled. The the attacker disabled our firewall. Um, so I'm gonna to replace it. And. Uh, uh, one person also going to request a budget because we only have four thousand dollars left. Um, and uh, deactivate the uh, IR um, and uh, end the turn. So firewall was being fixed and. Uh, I think the attacker has already in here already because they can reach our um, reach our PCN firewall, which means they are already in our network. So I think pretty much I need to install more IDS um, sensor or um, yeah, let's install more uh, like a network sensor though. It's kind of important. Just to install. So we, we do not have any money for now, but I'm gonna to max my, max my out our network. So the attacker right now is coming coming out coming uh for our history um this this server because it, it's being targeted. But I think I have already patched it, so I think apparently it will be safe. So attacker is in this zone right now, so we can see that. Uh, let me see what we can do to uh, to reduce this risk. So system hardening, okay. So what kind of issue on this switch? Um, The format string error, that's it's not a big deal, I think. Um, incorrect access control, incorrect access control, incorrect access control. Basically, we have a lot of incorrect access control in, in, the, in our environment. Um, 
So let's fix those incorrect access control by doing the system hardening. Um, right, so Yeah, we want to fix the switch and uh, um, I only can do some things that do not require some money because my budget is kind of my budget is kind of low. So let's fix our switch. See if we can fix it. So I got a lot of money, um, well funded, and. Uh, yeah, I got like a 40 gram. So attacker coming coming to my firewall again. Um, I think really this time it, they really just did something um, really bad. So I think there's some new vulnerability coming out. So we have to perform another vulnerability assessment in our network. So take out like a strip, uh, take out all our manpower so um, so we got one person free now and uh, um, let's see gonna to install this um, Yeah, I'm, I want to like a full coverage on our all the network. So I want to make sure that I know what they're doing. So yeah, so I installed all the IDS sensor in the network zone. So, um, so I got one person free. Um, let's see if we can like secure our remote user so secure our remote user by doing a system hardening right okay now so our uh, vulnerability assessment is being finished so so that is why they are trying to target us uh, because we have like a weak password uh, and we, we identified some new vulnerabilities um, because this is like an issue like in the enterprise like that like when you did one of the vulnerability assessment you are you it, there's no guarantee that some new employers come in to change your password back to the default creds or the weak password so uh, we're gonna to continually to in enforce the strong password policies because on our firewall we have the weak password right so um see if we can fix any default credentials uh, we've got this switch has this default credential so we're gonna fix it And uh, uh, I'm gonna to asking for like request more budget because I want to hire more people uh, to work for me. So so uh, our VPN is in in the risk. So um, update firmware. Um, install the antivirus. Okay, so my same server does not have the antivirus on it so and also my my ids sensor uh, needs to be has some um antivirus over there so let's fix that okay so it coming uh it coming for our um uh, this server again but i think my i have already patched it so Unless they, they use zero day because zero day it it, it can be really challenged because there is no way to fix it. So uh, we're gonna make sure that um, a stack overflow on our firewall. Um, 
because this zone is really important. So I'm going to focus on this part for now, but um, I'm going to fix our firewall. It, it got like a stack overflow vulnerability on there. So I'm going to apply the system patch on my firewall. And uh, my sim uh, also has a vulnerability on there. So my sim needs to be patched as well. So um, yeah. So my firewall is being fixed and uh, it seems like attacker didn't get any luck. So um, trying to really secure our critical assets. So we got this buffer overflow on our um, industry um, industry server, but if they cannot get into our past this scatter firewall, it should be fine. So, but uh, we got a command injection vulnerability on our workstation, engineer workstation, so I'm going to patch it. And uh, buffer overflow usually does not have, uh, it's not, usually it's not too bad, but um, we got this outdated antivirus um, on here. So, so the attacker basically in this zone right now. So, uh, I'm gonna to update the the antivirus on on my IDS. I got the budget approved, so I'm gonna hire a new new guy come in to work for me. So, yep, we're gonna hire more people, right? So getting hired. Um, so now we really just trying to like fix some obvious vulnerability, right? Um, yeah, so the, the switch has like a incorrect access control on there. So I'm going to, I, I'm not sure why I cannot really, I'm not sure why I cannot fix it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I can apply the system hardening on there. So, and uh, this switch also has an incorrect access control. So I'm going to fix that. So I hired a new guy come in to work for me. Uh, very nice. So, okay. So it comes in to, to get my SCADA server. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna to try to patch it. Okay. So patch it on the fly. Okay. Wait, I got the system patching. Okay. So Wait, I cannot fix it though. I'm, I'm not sure why. Yeah, I'm gonna harden my system. So basically the attacker right now, it has been moved into this zone. Um, so I have to make sure that um, my ICS system was being stayed secure. So um, Yeah, I think a good idea to to like really patch my system, patch my PLC system right now. So you, if they ever get into our system, they will not uh, be able to taking down our um, critical ICS system. So. So I'm going to patch my uh, HMI as well and the PLC. So PLC is uh, really important. So I apply the patch. It's not hard, right? So it's only take one turn. So to so patch all my ICS system.
Okay, so something was being taken down. Okay. Gosh. Um. I think the issue might be I messed up again because. Because uh, sometimes the ICI system cannot be patched. Like once you patch it, it will be out of service. So, okay, so uh, at this moment, I have to go into fix it. Um, but let's see what we can do. Um, so the ICI system sometimes is really unstable. Um, so, Let's just, uh, yeah, my same server has some issue again. So uh, I'm going to harden in my same system and My mail server has outdated antivirus on there, so you really want to make sure that it is secure. Um, yeah, I want to make sure our ICS security is being monitored, so uh, I'm going to apply that because SCADA, SCADA devices are really important for our company so oh shoot yeah I damaged my OICS um, I didn't get a chance to fix it before it um, before it being activated the IR so uh, I made to 49, um, turn 49, uh, so so always, I think always just make sure that you do not mess around, like you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't really patch it or, or update it or, or you have to like doing, uh, before you perform a vulnerability assessment on the, on your ICS, you have to really like be careful, um, so that is for today and, uh, uh let's see our other team. So this is a red team, a red team, a uh, red team view. Uh, so they basically they they have already trying to scan our. Um, they get into our firewall um, pretty pretty fast. So our firewall was being compromised, and they get into our uh, servers. So so they the um. Yeah, so they get into our user workstation and they're trying to navigate in uh, through our DMZ firewall and they get into the PCN firewall. Um, so they, 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 they definitely they doing some pivoting in our network, but but the reason I failed this is that I messed, I, I damaged my old uh, assets. So this is really bad. Um, in real world situation, I would be fired, but thank you guys for uh watching this video and uh, uh it's a really fun game and i highly encourage you guys to go into play with it and uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys next time